It's Patrick Hutzel from intensivecareathome.com, where we provide tailor-made solutions for long-term ventilated adults and children with tracheostomies, and where we also provide tailor-made solutions for hospitals and intensive care units, while it's providing quality services for long-term ventilated adults and children with tracheostomies and medically complex patients at home, including home TBN, BiPAP, CPAP. We also do IV potassium or magnesium infusions, IV antibiotics at home. So in today's blog post, I do want to answer a question from one of our readers who says, Hi, Patrick. My dad is 60 years old and is, has been in ICU for eight days. He has been diagnosed with motor neuron disease about 10 months ago. He developed se sepsis and was hospitalized for the second time in, in four months. He has a PET tube, but his large intestine wasn't getting enough oxygen and he had an internal ischemia. Part of his large intestine was removed. They did a colostomy procedure on him. He was in a medically induced coma for four days during these procedures. They did a CAT scan of the abdomen to discover why there was not enough oxygen to, um, to the gut. Because of the MND or motor neuron disease, he can't talk, walk or swallow. His breathing and oxygen were not at the safest numbers. So he was intubated, put on a ventilator again yesterday. Currently he's on 55 to 60% of oxygen. The GI doctor wants to strongly recommend taking him off life support. It's only been eight days so far. He's on intubation with no sedation. The nurse says he's weak but still tolerating the intubation with just pain medications and he's drowsy and opens his eyes. My question is, can he go home and have a tracheostomy or the other way around? Can he have a tracheostomy and go home if he can't be weaned off the ventilator? Well, that's a great question to ask um, uh, Salvi. And um, Salvi, here's the answer. Yes, your dad can go home with a tracheostomy and a ventilator with MND. So let me talk more about this. So with intensive care at home, we have been looking um, at least after two clients at home with modern neuro neuron disease that are having a tracheostomy and are ventilated. It is their choice. It's not the GI doctor's choice to tell you, you know, um, you should be removing life support here. It is your dad's choice. Well, the question is, you know, have you had a conversation with your dad, what he wants? You know, has your dad made any plans? Has he made an advanced care plan, right? what he wants. Is it documented? But even if it's not documented, as long as you and your dad or any other family members had a conversation with him, you know, and, and he expressed what his wishes are, then you should just tell the intensive care team uh, if he can't be weaned off the ventilator, which he may not be because the modern neuron disease is a progressive disease and it's unlikely that he will come off the ventilator. You never know, you know, but from my experience, it's, it'll be difficult. The way forward here would be a tracheostomy and then preparing him for home care. It's all doable. We have looked after many patients at home with modern neuron disease and tracheostomy. And it's also happening in Europe on a much larger scale. So, you know, just because of what you're going through here shouldn't deter you, assuming that's what you and your dad want, you know, and then going home. And I know from your email, you are in Australia. I mean, with intensive care at home, we are currently operating all around Australia. Um, and most of our clients are funded through the NDIS, the National Disability Insurance Scheme, right? And the next step here really is your dad needs to get an NDIS plan. After he's had the tracheostomy, your dad needs to get an NDIS specialist support coordinator, which you can get through us as well. You know, we provide NDIS specialist support coordination as well. And then, you know, the advocacy needs to be started for your dad to go home with critical care nurses 24 hours a day, which is what our other MND clients get to keep them safe. You know, I mean, you can't take patients home from intensive care without intensive care nurses, assuming they have ongoing intensive care needs, which is what a ventilator and a tracheostomy is, right? So it's a straightforward process, um, you know, but it just needs to get started, you know. So I hope that answers your question also. If you are an NDI support coordinator watching this, you know you may know of other clients or other NDIS participants that are in a similar situation. And if you're unsure about you know, which services to use, what funding options are there through the NDIS or through other funding bodies, I strongly encourage you to reach out to us because we can you know, 
we can help you, especially with the funding as well. You know, we've successfully advocated for many other clients in similar situations. You know, or if you have a loved one in intensive care in a similar situation, you know, or if you are watching this yourself, you're stuck in ICU, ventilation tracheostomy, but even if you are not ventilated and you have a tracheostomy, you know, you can't go home without 24-hour critical care nursing support. Or even if you are not having a tracheostomy, but you are BiPAP or CPAP dependent, the same applies. You can't be going home without 24-hour ICU nurses, you know, because that's what you're having in hospital. Um, so, you know, please contact us. You might also be at home watching this either, you know, you might be a family at home watching this, or you might be um, a patient watching this and you're at home with ventilation, tracheostomy or BiPAP ventilation, CPAP ventilation, or you might be having a tracheostomy, but you're not ventilated, you know, and you don't have enough support. You realize that whatever you're having at the moment is not working, but you're worried about lack of funding. Once again, please reach out to us. We can help you with funding or perceived lack of funding. It's just a perception that we can help you changing because, you know, we are very experienced in the advocacy work for our clients and their families. Now, also, if you're an NDI support coordinator watching this, you know, once again, I encourage you to reach out to us if you have a participant that needs nursing care. Um, we are here for you and for your clients and for your participants and for your families. We can help you with up to 24-hour nursing care at home, especially when it comes to ventilation, tracheostomy, BiPAP, CPAP. Uh, but also home TPN, home electrolyte infusion, such as potassium or magnesium, central line care at home, peak line care, uh, Hickman's line care. You know, we do it all. Please contact us. If you are an intensive care specialist, please contact us as well. I know you've got bed blocks in ICU, exit blocks. You know, we want to help you managing your ex exit blocks by sending critical care nurses into the home. Furthermore, if you're a critical care nurse, we want to hear from you as well. You know, we have, we currently have uh, jobs in Sydney, Melbourne, Brisbane. Uh, if you're looking for a career change, we want to hear from you. But also if you know of patients and families in ICU that need our help, please reach out to us. Same for doctors. We are also expanding our medical team at the moment. Please reach out to us as well. If you're a hospital executive watching this, you know you've got exit blocks or bed blocks in ICU or in other high acuity areas of your hospital. Once again, we can help you uh, managing those exit blocks and show your and we can help you show your uh, your patients that you partner with consumers as well we are also providing a bi ed bypass service uh, for the sydney western area health district uh, we're sending our critical care nurses into people's homes to keep them out of ed so once again we're helping hospitals to manage their exit blocks and their bed blocks now um i hope that helps and answers your questions we're also providing NDIS nursing assessments if you need any. Now, you know where to contact us. Contact us on one of the numbers on the top of our website at intensivecareathome.com or send us an email to info at intensivecareathome.com. Um, thank you so much for watching. If you like my videos, subscribe to my YouTube channel for regular updates for families in intensive care and intensive care at home. Click the like button, click the notification bell, share the video with your friends and families comment below what you want to see next or what questions and insights you have from this video thank you so much thank you so much for watching this is patrick hutzel from intensivecarehome.com and i will talk to you in a few days take care for now